Hi there everyone, welcome back up here to Weir Yard in the Loft and I've got a review for you which is a little bit different from what you normally come to expect up here. It's these three little beauties, the J50s from Hornby and you may be asking yourself why have you waited until now to do these reviews? Well the reason is that I've spotted that they are on an amazingly good offer for three different varieties of these from uh, a number of places including Hattons and Rails and we've got some affiliate links down below to help you out in finding these. And today's video is also brought to you in association with Trainomatic Decoders and uh, they are designed by enthusiasts for enthusiasts. So I'm looking forward to uh, talking through these really quite fine models with you. Are they the best value ready to run tank locomotives on the market at the present time? Well, come with me and let's see what we can see. These models were introduced a few years ago now in the Hornby range. The J50 uh, was originally a Great Northern Railway tank locomotive, passed on into l ownership, and then onwards to British Rail. And indeed, at least one of these ended up in departmental service at the very end, which is the livery that you see here. There are three different liveries currently available and out there, and they include uh, this particular l &E livery, it's 585, with this, uh, I actually only just noticed, I've had this model for quite some time and it shows how observant I am, it's got a different style of bunker on the back with the extra increased capacity, and uh, it's really interesting to see, I've compared this with the other ones, and it's a completely different tooled cab and uh, back of the cab, so it's really nice to see that Hornby have paid special close attention to details and some of the detail differences. The departmental BR liveried version as number 14, it's a bit unusual. Uh, I was quite surprised when this was announced. It wasn't a locomotive I was particularly aware of, um, but it did uh, continue in uh, BR service a little bit longer as a departmental allocated locomotive. And uh, this livery is also available at the same amazingly good price. And there is also a BR Early Crest livery, which I don't have an example of, but I do have, just to illustrate some of the other versions that were out previously, this is from the initial batch, and it's the LNER lined livery. So you can see we've got that lovely red ornate lining. Now uh, again I must reiterate that this particular livery option is not available brand new but I've got this out just to show you some of the other versions that were available and can be found out there second hand if you look around. So I'm going to take a really good close look at uh, these two in particular because these are the liveries that are available. Like I said before, in the introduction, the affiliate links, uh, we've put them down below and these allow you to find these at Rails of Sheffield and Hattons, available mail order at pretty much the best prices that we can find out there. And in these days of extremely um, increased uh, price increases, it's really nice to see such fine locomotives available ready to run to uh, be able to enlarge your collection at uh, what is actually a really quite good price. I'm going to look at the l &E version first and this comes in a, a much more plain and austere livery over the uh, red lined one that I showed you before but it does come with this different tooled bunker at the back so you can see there we've got the coal load in it and again it's something I've been saying on a lot of these reviews these coal loads are really nicely done and uh, I wouldn't say that this particularly needs um, to have any real coal added. The model's a bit dusty, it's, it's actually been sat on some shelves for uh, about a year now. Um, I really must run these more but you can see that Hornby have captured the look and shape of this J50 ever so well. Lima did a model of these a long, long time ago, and whilst Hornby bought out Lima and absorbed a lot of their tooling um, into stock, not all of the old Lima locomotives made it back out onto the front line, and the J50 was one that Hornby chose to completely retool 
from scratch rather than issue a warmed over Lima model. And you can see here that we've very much got a locomotive to a fully modern standard. And I particularly love these cutaways that are in the uh, tank sides, just like the real thing, to expose some of the mechanisms of the, uh, the valve assembly uh, inside there. It is really nicely done and totally true to how the prototype was. They are a really heavy locomotive. There's a lot of weight crammed in here, but that doesn't belay the fact that they are comparatively easy to DCC fit. Um, I've actually fitted these quite a while ago um, and I used at the time the Hornby 8 pin decoders but what we can recommend for these is the Trainomatic 8 pin decoders are a perfect match to go in these. There is no Hornby TTS sound chip uh, currently available to go in these and actually if you try and go down the sound route you're going to have um, to be very creative in fitting things in. The buffers on these are turned metal, fully sprung, and it's got all of the mod cons that we've come to expect from the uh, more modern Hornby models. Looking to the late BR livery, uh, this is actually, like I said before, quite interesting. This did last a number of years beyond the main fleet. Um, but we've got correctly tooled up that different cab rear with the different shaped windows there with the uh, metal bars to protect the glass from being hit with bits of coal. If I put these side by side, you can see they're very different, uh, different shaped windows there. Flush glazing inside, really nicely done. But it's just so nice to see that Hornby have tooled completely differently. And it's not just the top of the bunkers. You see there the lamp irons, five in a row plus the one above. On the LNER model there, you can see we've got only three at the bottom plus the one higher up. And I'm actually going to look to, let's just see. Yes, this LNER model, it does seem to be an entire different bunker design because this uh, earlier LNER model um, does have the same lamp iron assembly as the BR liveried one, even though that is LNER livery. So it seems to be hand in hand with the bunker types. Everything else on these locomotives is pretty much the same as far as I can see, uh, but really nicely realized. Inside the cab, it does appear that yes, there is a fully detailed cab interior, even though, um, you really would be hard pressed to see inside these, but it is ever so nicely done. In terms of other detail, we've got turned metal safety valves and a whistle there on the front of the cab. Uh, let's just see, are there any other detail differences on those whistle assemblies? No, they are exactly the same. So everything in front of the cabs does appear to be um, the same between these models, it's just the cab backs and bunkers that differ. But certainly at around £64.50, I've seen these up to about £69. These do offer immense value for money. And actually on scores, I, I don't think that we actually reviewed these um, when I first started getting them. Um, I've had them in my collection for quite a while. In fact, I got... Uh, these two last year um, as part of um, filming for a TV series um, and this one I bought when it first came out but um, in terms of the money for a high spec 060 shunter I have to say that these offer the best value for money of everything that's on the market at the moment so I'm not going to do scores for these they are really good I think the model sells itself and I really just wanted to bring these to your attention because of the amazing price that I found them out there, available mail order. And certainly in the time of filming, we're under complete lockdown. It's something that uh, maybe it's nice to just treat yourself with a little something to uh, have during these uh, quiet nights in that we're all going to have to go through. Well, I hope this video was informative to you. Don't forget to like this video, share it too, and subscribe to the channel. If you've not already done so, you'll be the first to know about new videos as and when they go up. And you can buy the locomotives that you've seen today if you like them through the affiliate links down below. Now, you keep really good care of yourself. It's really great to have your company today. And uh, until next time, this is me, Jenny Kirk, saying take really good care. Bye for now. Today's video is sponsored by Trainomatic. 
Makers of DCC decoders designed to be fully compatible with every manufacturer's locomotive. Visit train-o-matic.com to browse the full range and see what they've got suitable for you. I'd like to send out a huge thanks to everybody who supports me on Patreon. And an extra special huge thanks goes out to Anthony Kidson, Michael Churchwood, Anthony Hunt, William Wade, Wayne Johns, Offshore Allen, oorail.co.uk, Tepic, Michael Lockie, Helen Sink, Peter Bolton, Brian Smith, and Brian and Dorothy Mudd. Thank you. Without you guys, I couldn't do this.